What's up y'all, this is Tia with Tia by Nature and I am finally starting my hair growth journey with you guys. And what I mean by hair growth journey is I'm actually going to be uh, measuring and keeping track on how long my hair has gotten by marking it on the back of this plain white t-shirt um, every couple of weeks to a month. Um, I actually saw this on another YouTuber's page and I thought that was a great idea. I am only going to be using and promoting my own products. And for those of you who don't already know, I make all of my own natural skincare and hair care products. Um, I have a business called Natural Sweet Aroma that will soon be a multi-billion dollar company. Just wait on Shampoo, conditioner, moisturizers, soaps, body butters, body scrub, facial cleansers, just a few things that I make um, every day. I'm thinking of something natural and beneficial to add to my list. But yeah, check out the website. It's naturalsweetaroma.bitcardo.com. Most of the things I named are on the website. It's still under construction, but you can still place orders of what you like or hit me up personally for something that I named that you don't see. Okay, so back to the hair talk. Um, before I actually cut my hair, I did really actually have long, beautiful hair. Like, I, my hair was all the way down to my back. For the most part, I kept my hair pretty good and healthy, but it wasn't perfect. And I don't think people understood that, like, it takes a lot of maintenance, a lot of work to maintain long and kinky hair. All people saw was the length, like they wasn't thinking about what I had to go through to maintain this long hair or the fact that I had three girls. Now I have four, but back then when I cut it, I, I had three heads, like that's a lot. So, and I always said, it's either they get dressed or I cut my hair. <laughs> and I won't bother make my girls uh, put dreads in their hair. I think that's something that a choice they should have as they get older. Cause that's, to me, dreads are permanent unless you cut you cut it all off. I didn't want to do that to them. So I cut my hair off. I made the decision to cut my hair off, you know, to make things better for myself. So July, she is determined she is not gonna be quiet unless I'm holding her, so yes. Um, July 30th of 2017 is when I did my big chop. And when I say chop, I mean chopped. I don't mean snippets. I don't mean a few inches. I mean, I literally put my hair in a ponytail and I cut it across and just cut my whole entire ponytail off. Uh, first of all, if I shouldn't have did that because I messed up how my hair, how I actually wanted my hair to start growing back. Um, and how I wanted to wear my hair. So I had to like forcefully wear this bob <laughs> that I did not want. But yeah, I cut it all off. Um, I had a mini panic attack after I did it. And I just was like, I can't believe I just did this. Like I've never cut my hair off like that. I cut off a few inches. Um, but that wasn't even noticeable when I used to do that. This time, I just was like, oh my God, I can't believe I just cut all my hair off. And it wasn't no going back. So, I just was like, oh well. And I text my husband, and I'm like, I cut my hair. And he was like, no, you did not. And by the time I text him, I already had posted pictures on Facebook. So, I guess he saw, saw it on Facebook. And so, I wasn't playing. And when he called me, I knew... I already knew he saw it to my products. Me knowing the things that I, I, the products and ingredients that I use in my products um, are good for you, are healthy for you, are natural. And I knew a lot of the ingredients that I use um, did have hair growth benefits. So I decided to also use that um, as me having short hair as to, I guess, kind of promoting my product because the hair care kit that I do have now <coughs> is actually helping my hair grow like and it's been growing tremendously and I'm proud of that because um there are a lot of products out here that claims stuff that that's not really true and each time that I make a product that I want specifically for for that purpose and I see that it's working 
I'm like, now how can I really promote this? I really couldn't promote hair growth products when my hair was already down my back. Like, how was, I mean, I would probably notice it, but a typical person that didn't really know me and just knew I already had long hair would notice that my hair is growing. So now that I've chopped it off and I've started putting these certain ingredients in my product, you can you and I can actually see that my hair is growing shortly after that is when I came up with the ingredients uh, to put in my hair kit hair kit uh, products and I started using them about every week and <clears throat> I straightened my hair again in February and you can see the change that like you can see it like you saw in November how short my hair was and how I was barely touching my neck and now in February, after using these products, um, it's almost touching my shoulders. That was a big thing for me. So I was like, okay, yeah, I'm definitely about to, you know, keep playing with this and, and see how well it's going. And now I actually have it on my product list. I felt like it was doing so good that it was just time for me to stop playing and, and get this product onto my list and, um, you know start advertising it and showing how <clears throat> how well it's doing and a lot of people these days that's what they're on they're they're on hair growth journey like i am um not knocking anybody but they try to go any route that they can to make their hair grow whether it's natural or not natural and i wasn't about to do that i know that the stuff that i have i'm confident in the stuff that i use that is natural it's not it's not gonna harm you and that's what I'm on right now. So here we are today. All right, so about the products that I am using from Natural Sweet Aroma is the um, Natural Cleansing Shampoo and the Natural Protein Conditioner. And I just added my um, Love Your Naps Moisturizer onto the list as well. Um, all of this stuff is on my website. For some of the ingredients I have um, that I'm using in my hair care, my hair care kit, um, black African soap, some ole vera gel, some flaxseed gel, peppermint oil, and that's just some of them I'm going to name right now, but all the ingredients is listed on the bottles and it's on the website as well, so y'all can check that out anytime. Alright, so the moment we have all been waiting for, um, how long my hair has gotten since the February photo that I showed y'all and that was February of this year 2018 um I have not yet measured my hair like actually measured it um recently um not the way that I want to start doing it now like I'll take it and pull it and you know look and all I got on but no I actually want to measure it and mark it or have marks like I said, each couple of weeks to a month. That's what I want to start doing. And I want to, I'm, I'm going to come probably every month, probably every month, and um, update y'all as well. So I went ahead and moved to the bathroom with my pen and my comb so I can go ahead and get this measurement of how long my hair is today. Today is Friday, 21st, 2018. And I'm going to mark the measurement on the back of my shirt. <clears throat> and I'm just going to, it's not having straightened it or blow dried it or anything. Uh, before this prior video, I washed it and I actually had my hair bent two knots. So this is what it is, me unraveling. I had, I think I unraveled it last night and that's just why I look like that now. I'm just going to comb one of the pieces one of the pieces out from the back and just looking at it like this from uh, a couple weeks ago it has grown all right let's see if we can do this with a pin Where I feel like it is at. Let's see if I can mark it. Yep, 
before I did it. I got to check. Doesn't have a mark. So let's try to get this a, it's a new pen, so that's why it's not. You know how you gotta like scribble on something. Oh, rip. All right, there it go. All right, let's try it again. Alright y'all, so y'all see where my mark is. Yep, yeah, I will make it better once I take the shirt off. <coughs> Alright, so y'all see where my mark is now. And like I said, today is, um, did I say February? I don't think. I think I did say February. Today is September the 21st, 2018. I'm going to put that on my shirt. All right, so next week, which will be next Friday, I'm going to make another video um, when I'm doing my uh, wash day. That's normally what I do now since I've been using my product. I've washed my, make sure I try to wash my hair every week or two weeks. But I'm going to do it Friday, which is next, uh, next week um, with me. Showing y'all, you know, me washing it, how I'm conditioning, and um, putting in a protective style. And my choice of protective style right now is Bantu Knots. That's the easiest thing and the most simplest thing that you that I could do to my hair. And just, you know, leave it alone. I could wear it outside if I want to wear it outside. I can leave it in like that for as long as I want to. So that's what I'm going to do next week. And since... Um, I'm doing, going ahead and um, recording that. I'm going to measure it again and see if it had any any growth from today. And after next week, it'll start being every month. So make sure y'all hit that subscribe button and so that y'all can follow me with the journey that I'm doing. Um, this is probably the longest journey that I've actually shared with other people. So it's, it's exciting to me. I hope it's exciting to y'all as well. And um. Like I said, hit that subscribe button, like, share, all that good stuff.